I'm back here with a look at Eva. I apologize. I've been uh, under the weather the last couple of days, but I'm back feeling better. And uh, if you watched a video the other day that I did on Eva, I said, watch these price levels. All right, when it hit the uh, 618 up here, 20 cents, and uh, up at the 22 cent area. That's the 618 and the 702. Um, and you can see we did bounce right up and hit that 20 cents and got rejected off of that. All right, we're going to take a look here and see what could possibly be going on here. Okay, are we doing a five wave up right here? Is this a one, two, three, four, five? Um, or are we falling down from here? All right, let's, we'll take a look here in a second. First off, I want to show you the uh, crypto bubbles out there today. Uh, here's what's going on with the market. Um, not a lot. All right, and over here with Bitcoin, Bitcoin is only, uh, it's actually down, <coughs> excuse me, $65 right now. So waiting for this thing to do something, you know, Bitcoin is going to help, help the whole market out if it gets moving, obviously, that uh, brings buyers in. So that's what we need to see happening here. All right, let's take a look here. We have a support line right here. This is on the eight hour right there is a support line starting to get some uh, you know starting to build some support and resistance areas in here so that's what I'm looking at here all right let's take a look here let's get this off here and see all right and I, I said in the video the other day you know the explosive price movement small market cap coins ex explosive price movement and you always get that with these things let's look and see if uh, what's going on here with any volume Click on this. Uh, Twenty-one million dollar market cap. Twenty-one point four. It's down sixteen point seven eight percent. And volume is at three million bucks. Three point one million. All right. So let's look at these RSI's and take a look here. The eight hour. The eight hour wants to spin back up. All right. Look how high this thing got. Got up to. You don't see it that high very often. Eighty-nine up in here. That's pretty high. Uh, the twelve hour. 12 hours trying to spin back up to the 66 and a 68. Look at it, you know, looks like it wants to uh, try to curve back up here. The daily, uh, the daily's at a roughly a 13 and a 15, all right? Not much, just starting to build a daily RSI on here. Now, is this whole thing a one, two, three, four, five waves up here? Very possible. Got a total of 1 billion coins. I don't like that. I don't like that 17% of the coins uh, distributed right now. 173 million. I, I like to see that above uh, 50, 60%, 60% at least. You know, inflation um, is what will hurt this in the long run, maybe. You know, possibly. We'll have to wait and find out. But uh, all right, let's see. Got the 12 hour trying to turn back up here we got the eight hour turning back up you can see that obviously curving back up again and the four should be reset it is it's at a 13 and a 15 right down here at the bottom all right so some things we're gonna have to keep an eye on here let's go out to the eight all right and see just want to put the four one, two, three, four, five. Is this a five wave up? Let's put a trend based fib on it. Get an idea of. Let me give this thing a target up at 36 cents. One, two, three, four, five. Very, very, uh, very possible. You had this high here. It's at a 44. The 8 hour is at a 43. And the 12 hour is down at a 43. Okay, that's good to see. The daily's down at a 53. All right, yeah, I would be expecting probably a bounce out of this thing. Um, you know, uh, obviously these RSIs, what I'm looking at is down here. All right, this is at a 43. All right, just about, you know, not even halfway up yet, really. Um, that's great to see. The 12 hour is. Where are we at here? Is that a 44? Let me get that off there. Okay, that's great to see. Um, that means it has lots of room to push up here. 
all right so if it loses let's put it this way if it loses uh, this 10 8 point 10 8 if it loses that then it's probably going to come back down to these lower levels again you know maybe down to uh, nine cents we have a support right there right here Okay, so if it loses that 10.8, it's probably coming down to the 9. All right, if it breaks that 12.9, uh, then it's probably heading back up to these higher levels. All right, I would expect it to probably uh, at, at least uh, go up and hit that 20 cents again. All right, so um, just watch watch for them two levels. That'll tell it all right there. All right, if it holds the right here, the 10.8, Okay, if it can hold that, then it's probably bouncing higher. If it loses the 10.8, then it's going to be end up coming down to this nine cent area. All right, and letting these RSIs cool off. But I think the RSIs are are cold off and off. I think this thing honestly is is going to be heading uh, heading up back up uh, to the 20 cent area. I would imagine, you know, one, two, three, four, maybe a fifth wave up here. You know, it could come back up here and test that 29 cents real fast. These small market cap coins really bounce really bounce hard and if this whole thing ends up being just a one two you know and then we're working on a third wave then uh this could really take off you know we'll have to see what happens here but uh that's your that's your areas to keep an eye on right there all right if it can hold the 10.8 it's probably going higher if it loses the 10.8 then it's coming down uh to the nine cent area okay but if it holds that 10.8 this thing is probably heading back up towards the 20 cents possibly higher you know possibly up to the 30 cents we'll have to wait but these rsis that 12 hour like i said these things are pretty low down here in the bottom that's where you want to see them for a rally the eight hours down here are low and the four hours down there are low you know so like i said that's where you want to see the things at for a rally and they're in the perfect area for it all right guys thanks a lot talk to you soon